how's it going? Today I'm going to go over how to draw Spider-Man uh, versus Carnage and Venom. Uh, it's going to be like a standoff pose, so you're going to have Spider-Man's head on this side, and then uh, Venom's head and Carnage's head a little bit behind him on this side. So it's going to be simple, easy, for beginners. This one, this one I can walk you right through the entire process, okay? Shouldn't be more than 8 to 10, I would say about 10 minutes, so uh, let's get started, okay? Uh, stick all the way to the very end, you'll learn the entire thing, and you'll be able to draw it from your memory, hopefully. Uh, all right, let's get going, all right? Oh, before I do that, if you like learning how to draw Spider-Man or any Marvel character or anything like that in cute form or real form, basically I draw anything on this channel that you guys suggest and put it in a 10-minute, like, to 12-minute package. Uh, hit the subscribe if you like that, if that sounds good to you. Hit the subscribe and click the bell notification. It's going to let you know when I post. The way it lets you know is you're scrolling your feed randomly, and sometimes my drawing uh, tutorials will pop up there, and you will be able to, like, learn from them uh, and be able to draw whatever you want that day. All right, let's get started. Ah. So I'm going to go over here on this side, and I'm going to draw a... I like this curve here. It's going to be Spider-Man's head I'm starting, and he's going to be over here. So it's going to be kind of his eye area that I'm doing right there. Like this slight in, inward curve for like top of his nose area. I'm going to go outward, kind of toward the end of his nose, and I'm going to curve down here. So it's kind of like where his nose-ish is, down to the kind of the chin area. Line over here for the chin. Let's go over here. Pull up on the forehead. And as you go past the forehead, the head starts to turn to the top of the head, right? Keep going on the top of the head, and then we're gonna it's gonna turn again here for the back of the skull area, and then that's gonna lead down over here on this side into the trapezius, which is just really just the the neck muscles in the back. Let's go over here for the end of his chin. Sorry, I'm gonna go through this relatively quick because it is complex, but it's relatively I think it's relatively simple. I don't know. Uh, line back here for the jaw. Pull up line straight in here for the neck like the kind of like underneath your neck pulling down over here the Adam's apple area and then pulling downward and maybe right here the like the chest area all right gonna go over here gonna start with a large kind of curve for the top of his eye I'm going to go down, starting from the front over here, and I'm going to scoop underneath and go up. So that bottom part has that scoop underneath. Line over here for the back of the ear. And, I mean, it's like a little, little line right there for the shape of the ear. Let's go over the, uh, the design right on its mask, which is the most important thing. I'm going to go right here at the front, and it kind of reminds me of a little, like a half of a cartoon explosion. Like a little firecracker going off that's the way I think of the center of his web design and I'm gonna pull obviously every most lines at least in this direction I'm gonna radiate from that center point right this is gonna be the center obviously avoiding his eye as I do this line over here line over here line over here And that one goes kind of toward the back of the head. You can draw one more over here. His neck, though, when you get down into the neck area, it's basically a checkerboard. Draw lines across. And then in a checkerboard fashion. Just do that like a net. Let's go more into his face here. Uh, I'm going to curve and start like a curve inward for these though it's gonna I'm gonna draw the web area around there and that web's gonna keep going back until it hits the kind of back of his head area you don't have to count them or anything that's very important don't count them just kind of give an approximation because I'm going to draw a little shadow right here underneath his neck. 
to kind of differentiate all this. So Casey just doesn't look like a like a racquetball or something, or like a racket, you know, like a tennis racket. Um, <laughs> but just to kind of you know. But the thing is, don't count them. That's really important because if you count them, it's, it's kind of like a losing battle. I think. Go over here to Venom's face now. I'm gonna draw a curve over here. For the that's gonna be his eye and the forehead. Curve along the back of the neck over back of the head over here. Same thing we did over there. Back. He's got a huge trapezius, right? Like so, trapezius is the muscle in the back of the neck, one of them at least. And that large group right there, I want to. I want his to be huge because he's like a bodybuilder type. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna pull in and I'm gonna draw zigzag shapes here, just random ones for his teeth. And then I will, you know, do something with him and I'll show you. Pull down here. A straight line underneath same thing with the zigzag shape the difference is I'm gonna draw the tongue and I can overdo it like that see how I overdid the twisting that's a little much but go up here pulling up it's gonna squish together there so I'm gonna go right here and then back into the mouth it's gonna get larger as it goes back in the mouth giving it some kind of girth right Venom has lips, so I'm going to draw a little bit of lip sticking out. Smile. He's got, he's got like, lips. That's the difference between him and Carnage. And I can kind of pull the teeth up going up. And then over here, his lip goes over here, and he has this little skin flap when he opens his mouth. The way lizards do. Pulling the bottom of the lip here down for the chin back over here up bottom of the neck same way spider-man had it down over here and that was gonna pull his neck's gonna be huge go over here for the back of the neck pulling down over here down that's gonna be the uh, sternocleidomastoid it's a giant muscle in the uh, uh, it's like a cord like muscle that comes from behind your ear it's in comics like a lot um, that's why i put it in here I'm going to draw like, I don't know, like the chest area. Let's draw his eye. Like this V-shape. Pulling underneath. Up. And the top is kind of flamey. And that's always random, that shape, when I draw the top. Almost always I draw it randomly. You can, know what, you can plan it out for sure. That'd be great. But I, I always do it randomly. <sighs> Now, let's draw Carnage in the back. Same thing over here. He's going to have to be a little bit forward. Curve over here. He's not bigger, though. That's the thing. Down. And then I'm going to draw maybe like his neck over here somewhere. Like he's back there. Zigzagging. You don't have to draw the, all of Carnage, honestly, because he's going to be hidden behind Venom. And then maybe the bottom of his teeth over here. You just have to approximate where Carnage is going to show back there because he is uh, different, right? And it is he is hidden by another person. That's why it's kind of complicated on that on that remark. Go over here. His entire he is so chaotic. His like eyes are all over the map. Um, so you can just kind of randomly throw a lot of zigzags around his like below and above because he's just completely like a different uh like a totally totally different uh kind of thing than venom you can throw more darks around here by putting like some lines underneath uh venom's neck and stuff like that i am gonna uh color them but it's gonna be like sped up color it's not gonna be anything you know wild or anything like that a little bit of a thicker line here all right and that's it for that let me uh, jump into the color real quick and you'll see it 